Bunkakanai, Agakanai, or, was the title accorded to Hassan Ali Shah, 1804-1881, the governor of Kirman, 46th Imam of the Nisari Ismaili Muslims, and prominent Muslim leader in Iran and later in the Indian subcontinent. The Imam Hassan Ali Shah was born in 1804 in Kahik, Iran to Shakalalala, the 45th Ismaili Imam, and Bibi Sarkara, the daughter of Muhammad Sadiq Mahalati d. 1815, a poet and an Imat Allahi Sufi. Shakalil Ala moved to Yazd in 1815, probably out of concern for his Indian followers, who used to travel to Persia to see their Imam and for whom Yazd was a much closer and safer destination than Kahik. Meanwhile, his wife and children, including Hassan Ali, continued to live in Kahik off the revenues obtained from the family holdings in the Mahalat region. Two years later, in 1817, Shakalil Ala was killed in Yaz during a brawl between some of his followers and local shopkeepers. He was succeeded by his eldest son Hassan Ali Shah, also known as Muhammad Hassan, who became the 46th Imam. While Khalil Ala resided in Yazd, his land holdings in Kahik were being managed by his son-in-law, Imani Khan Farahani, husband of his daughter Shah Bibi. After Khalil Ala's death, a conflict ensued between Imani Khan Farahani and the local Nizaris, followers of Imam Khalil Ala, as a result of which Khalil Ala's widow and children found themselves left unprovided for. The young Imam and his mother moved to Qum, but their financial situation worsened. Out the Dowager decided to go to the Qajar court in Tehran to obtain justice for her husband's death and was eventually successful. Those who had been involved in the Shah Khalil Alice murder were punished. Not only that, but the Persian king Fath Ali Shah gave his own daughter, Princess Sarvai Jahan Khanum, in marriage to the young Imam Hassan Ali Shah and provided a princely dowry and land holdings in the Mahalat region. King Fath Ali Shah also appointed Hassan Ali Shah as governor of Khan and bestowed upon him the honorific of Aga Khan. Thus did the title of Aga Khan enter the family. Hassan Ali Shah became known as Aga Khan Mahalati, and the title of Aga Khan was inherited by his successors. Aga Khan I's mother later moved to India where she died in 1851. Until Fath Ali Shah's death in 1834, the Imam Hassan Ali Shah enjoyed a quiet life and was held in high esteem at the Qajar court. Soon after the accession of Muhammad Shah Qajar to the throne of his grandfather, Fath Ali Shah, the Imam Hassan Ali Shah was appointed governor of Kerman in 1835. At the time, Kerman was held by the rebellious sons of Shuja al-Saltana, a pretender to the Qajar throne. The area was also frequently raided by the Afghans. Hassan Ali Shah managed to restore order in Kerman, as well as in Bam and Narmashir, which were also held by rebellious groups. Hassan Ali Shah sent a report of his success to Tehran, but did not receive any material appreciation for his achievements. Despite the service he rendered to the Qajar government, Hassan Ali Shah was dismissed from the governorship of Kerman in 1837, less than two years after his arrival there, and was replaced by Farooz Mirza Nusrat al Dalla, a younger brother of Muhammad Shah Qajar. Refusing to accept his dismissal, Hassan Ali Shah withdrew with his forces to the citadel at Bam. Along with his two brothers, he made preparations to resist the government forces that were sent against him. He was besieged at Bam for some 14 months. When it was clear that continuing the resistance was of little use, Hassan Ali Shah sent tone of his brothers to Shiraz in order to speak to the governor of Fars to intervene on his behalf and arrange for safe passage out of Kerman. With the governor having interceded, Hassan Ali Shah surrendered and emerged from the citadel of Bam only to be double crossed. He was seized and his possessions were plundered by the government troops. Hassan Ali Shah and his dependents were sent to Kerman and remained as prisoners here for eight months. He was eventually allowed to go to Tehran near the end of 1838-39 where he was able to present his case before the Shah. The Shah pardoned him on the condition that he return peacefully to Mahalat. Hassan Ali Shah remained in Mahalat for about two years. He managed to gather an army in Mahalat which alarmed Muhammad Shah, who traveled to Dalijan near Mahalat to determine the truth of the reports about Hassan Ali Shah. Hassan Ali Shah was on a hunting trip at the time but he sent a messenger to request permission of the monarch to go to Mecca for the Hajj pilgrimage. Permission was given, and Hassan Ali Shah's mother and a few relatives were sent to Najaf and other holy cities in Iraq in which the shrines of his ancestors, the Shiite Imams are found. Prior to leaving Mahalat, Hassan Ali Shah equipped himself with letters appointing him to the governorship of Kerman. Accompanied by his brothers, nephews and other relatives, as well as many followers, he left for Yazd where he intended to meet some of his local followers. Hassan Ali Shah sent the documents reinstating him to the position of governor of Kerman to Bam and Mirza Baha al-Dala, 
The governor of Yazdat Baman Mirza offered Hassan Ali Shah lodging in the city, but Hassan Ali Shah declined, indicating that he wished to visit his followers living around Yazdat Haji Mirza Akhasi sent a messenger to Baman Mirza to inform him of the spuriousness of Hassan Ali Shah's documents and a battle between Baman Mirza and Hassan Ali Shah broke out in which Baman Mirza was defeated. Other minor battles were won by Hassan Ali Shah before he arrived in Shari Babak, which he intended to use as his base for capturing Kerman. At the time of his arrival in Shari Babak, a formal local governor was engaged in a campaign to drive out the Afghans from the city citadel, and Hassan Ali Shah joined him in forcing the Afghans to surrender. Soon after March 1841, Hassan Ali Shah set out for Kerman. He managed to defeat a government force consisting of 4,000 men near Dashtab and continued to win a number of victories before stopping at Bam for a time. Soon, a government force of 24,000 men forced Hassan Ali Shah to flee from Bam to Regan on the border of Baluchistan, where he suffered a decisive defeat. Hassan Ali Shah decided to escape to Afghanistan, accompanied by his brothers and many soldiers and servants. Fleeing Iran, he arrived in Kandahar, Afghanistan in 1841 a town that had been occupied by an Anglo-Indian army in 1839 in the First Anglo-Afghan War. A close relationship developed between Hassan Ali Shah and the British, which coincided with the final years of the First Anglo-Afghan War, 1838-1842. After his arrival, Hassan Ali Shah wrote to Sir William McNaughton, discussing his plans to seize and govern Herat on behalf of the British. Although the proposal seemed to have been approved, the plans of the British were thwarted by the uprising of Dust Muhammad's son Muhammad Akbar Khan, who defeated and annihilated the British Indian garrison at Gandamak on its retreat from Kabul in January 1842. Hassan Ali Shah soon proceeded to Sindh, where he rendered further services to the British. The British were able to annex Sindh and for his services, Hassan Ali Shah received an annual pension of £2,000 from General Charles James Napier, the British conqueror of Sindh with whom he had a good relationship. In October 1844, Hassan Ali Shah left Sindh for city of Bombay and Bombay Presidency, British India passing through Kutch and Kadiyavar where he spent some time visiting the communities of his followers in the area. After arriving in Bombay in February 1846, the Persian government demanded his extradition from India. The British refused and only agreed to transfer Hassan Ali Shah's residence to Calcutta, where it would be harder for him to launch new attacks against the Persian government. The British also negotiated the safe return of Hassan Ali Shah to Persia, which was in accordance with his own wish. The government agreed to Hassan Ali Shah's return provided that he would avoid passing through Baluchistan and Kirman and that he was to settle peacefully in Mahalat. Hassan Ali Shah was eventually forced to leave for Calcutta in April 1847, where he remained until he received news of the death of Muhammad Shah Qajar. Hassan Ali Shah left for Bombay and the British attempted to obtain permission for his return to Persia. Although some of his lands were restored to the control of his relatives, his safe return could not be arranged, and Hassan Ali Shah was forced to remain a permanent resident of India. While in India, Hassan Ali Shah continued his close relationship with the British, and was even visited by the Prince of Wales, the future King Edward VII, when was on a state visit to India. The British came to address Hassan Ali Shah as His Highness. Hassan Ali Shah received protection from the British government and British India as the spiritual head of an important Muslim community. The vast majority of his Koja Ismaili followers in India welcomed him warmly, but some dissident members, sensing their loss of prestige with the arrival of Imam, wished to maintain control over communal properties. Because of this, Hassan Ali Shah decided to secure a pledge of loyalty from the members of community to himself and to the Ismaili form of Islam. Although most of the members of the community signed a document issued by Hassan Ali Shah summarizing the practices of the Ismailis, a group of dissenting coaches surprisingly asserted that the community had always been Sunni. This group was outcast by the unanimous vote of all the coaches assembled in Bombay. In 1866, these dissenters filed a suit in the Bombay High Court against Hassan Ali Shah, claiming that the coaches had been Sunni Muslims from the very beginning. The case, commonly referred to as the Aga Khan case, was heard by Sir Joseph Arnold. The hearing lasted several weeks, and included testimony from Hassan Ali Shah himself. After reviewing the history of the community, Justice Arnold gave a definitive and detailed judgment against the plaintiffs and in favor of Hassan Ali Shah and other defendants. The judgment was significant in that it legally established the status of the Kojas as a community referred to as Shia Imami Ismailis, and of Hassan Ali Shah as the spiritual head of that community. 
Hassan Ali Shah's authority thereafter was not seriously challenged again. Hassan Ali Shah spent his final years in Bombay with occasional visits to Pune. Maintaining the traditions of the Iranian nobility to which he belonged, he kept excellent stables and became a well-known figure at the Bombay race course. Hassan Ali Shah died after an imamate of 64 years in April 1881. He was buried in a specially built shrine at Hassanabad in the Mazagayan area of Bombay. He was survived by three sons and five daughters. Hassan Ali Shah was succeeded as imam by his eldest son Akka Ali Shah, who became Aga Khan too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.